Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Monday, which of course means that we are tagging with Tiago. And this hand is actually fairly good. Yes, it is. It is a fairly good hand. I can see a lot of plays and potentials with this hand. Of course, Tiago goes first, so tanky. That could be a lot of things. That could be Constellers, that could be Fire Fist, that could be, you know, Chain Beat. Oh, it looks like we might be going against Fire Fist. I don't actually know it's Gorilla. That really doesn't reveal it either. Okay, okay, at this point, we should know that we're going against Fire Fist, because I don't think the other decks like that run, uh, you know, those cards. I'm going to summon Baron Gorilla, and you're going to go for, a, what, a Tiger King already? Yeah, alright. Seems like kind of a waste, I guess, but sure, whatever. You're already kind of negging yourself with the resources. <coughs> Alright, Tiago, go ahead and take your turn. I really don't have much to talk about today. Uh, still just playing that Pokemon. I mean, who isn't at this point? Like, if you have a 3DS and you don't have Pokemon, what are you doing with yourself, you know? I mean, I understand that some people can't get their hands on it, which is totally understandable. But if you got a 3DS and you're not playing this game, then go home. And if you're at home, then go somewhere else, just, ugh. this game has just been so good lately, so, I'm definitely enjoying it, if you guys are wondering my progress, I still only have one badge, because <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, uh, not really focusing on the gameplay aspect right now, but more of the, you know, the breeding aspect. So, right now I'm trying to get... Oh, I got an email. Let me check. Okay. Um... What was I saying? Oh. Uh, right now, I caught a male sand dial and a female sand dial, because, uh, Crocodile is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm actually just trying to get it the right nature and stuff. You know, it'll take a while, but I think it'll be worth it. Are we going to get the Infernities? Yeah, we are. Well, I'll try my best, but I don't know. So, we take 21, which is fine. You know, tag dueling with 8,000 life points is not a lot. You know? Like, you know, there, de there should definitely be more life points. Alright, so this is probably a Fire Fist card. This is probably the back row that w uh, I had to worry about. Alright. So, how do I want to do this? Uh. Hmm. Well, I can summon Star Drawing. Activate Instant Fusion, summon the Flame Swordsman, XC into Leo Arms, draw cards, search, and then next turn I can make the Utopia. So, yeah, that seems like a good plan. I do have a Forbidden Lance to, you know, stop any of my opponent's uh, plays that he's going to try to do on me. Compulse. Yeah, that yeah, fall for me. Actually, you know what? It can't be the show. Ah, I know what to do. I'm gonna make a, uh... Go ahead and make a Volcasaurus and blow him up. If you guys are wondering why there's no music, it's because the music actually has... is copyrighted. And, you know, I don't wanna, like... go third-party content... for something like that. You know, it's kinda dumb. It's like... You know, I'm actually partnered now, and, uh, you know, I actually get money off my views, so pretty much I'm just saying, like, hey, don't pay me for this, uh, video because I'm using some stupid music. And it's not even, like, really good music, it's just someone going, in the background, it's, it's really a lame song, you know, but, of course, I don't play on this enough for me to be like, oh, yeah, I definitely want to customize my music like I did on, a uh, Dev Pro. You know, it's just once a week. Like, shoot, we even have the Utopia background, which kind of fits, but still, it's kind of like, eh, I don't really care. 
so uh, that turned around quite nicely, if I do say so myself. Although, uh, I'm probably going to get it right now, because he's probably going to get, like, a bear. Oh, no, a wolf arc. Okay. It's like Tensu, you know? That additional summon every single turn. No, it was actually a ban list where it said Tensu was going down to one, and I was like, huh, okay, that's fine. You know? Of course, it didn't, which is fine, I guess. I mean, Firefest haven't done anything in forever, so... Uh... I really don't mind them doing decently. You know, that hit to the spirit, you know, that killed three ac three axes. Uh, then, you know, no one really used four axes. I think Firefist topped uh, I'm like Toronto, and then I haven't seen them top since, so. No, that's fine. Please stop asking me about that card. No. You know, tribute to for a Garunix? Sit your ass down. Get the hell out of my face with that. Alright, Tiago, end this. <laughs> he can't hear me right now, if you guys are wondering. No, he cannot. Uh, you know, we pretty much talk on Skype, and then we get this together, and we just, you know go with the flow of it, and then he, of course he watches the video, says, uh, you know, what improvements he, we could have made, or, you know, uh, generally it's just, thanks for tagging with me again, 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 you know, what are we, like, tagging with Tago part, I don't know, three, four, at this point, you know, I've lost count, but it gets a lot of views, and, um, it's something fun to do with the Utopia deck, because, of course, the Utopia deck is not the most entertaining deck it's actually uh, on the chopping block for being taken off. Like, it, if there was any deck that would be taken off of uh, off of daily duels, it would be this deck. But of course, I wouldn't know what to put up right now. And uh, since this tagging with Tiago gets a lot of views, you know, I don't mind just leaving it like this. <sighs> so while well, Tiago goes off with his plays and such and pretty much wins us the duel, he, that should be game. Oh, he can't attack. I forgot about that. If he could attack, that would have been game. He can't. Oh, well. He's probably going to destroy like, a Gavrunix in your hand. Oh, a Barong. I guess. So the next guy is... What was the other guy using? Oh, Infernities. Right, Infernities. I forgot about him. You know, in this duel, out of all the players, actually do something, he's done the most, you know, uh, insignificant plays, contribution to the duel. Oh, well, that was a waste of Barong. Oh, there goes all our monsters. Just bam, dark hole. Da -da 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 -da. Everything, everything fell apart. Nope. Definitely not that. Wow, really? Really? Nothing? You do nothing? All right. Well. I'll be happy to oblige in ending this game. You know? You, you do nothing. And you have back row. So, oh, it wouldn't even matter with gore, so. So, go ahead and put that on. And go ahead and put that on. I think he maybe misclicked. I don't know. But the 5,000 Utopia of your Astro game. You got a battle fighter? Nope. Okay. Alright, uh, we have time for one more, so be right back. Alright guys, we're back. So it took a while, but you know, I have no problem waiting because of course I'm playing Pokemon, so 
Uh, let's see what I'm trying to do. All these sandals are like coming out like crap. Mm. The best one I got so far was a timid nature, which I think increases attack and lowers defense. But of course, the best one for me would be adamant. Increase attack, lower special attack, because Gargadab really doesn't have any special attack moves anyway, so, you know, like I care about that. So that would be the most optimal crocodile. Well, not crocodile. Sand dial. Of course, of course it's sand. It doesn't hatch and be a crocodile. But you get what I mean. That's it, I go. You just set two cards and pass. What are these two cards? Mirror Force and Fiendish Chain. I knew one of them was a Fiendish Chain. I'm like, watch one of these be a Fiendish Chain. <laughs> that card's been used so much this morning. I mean, it's a, it's a good card. The one problem with I, that I don't like with it is that it doesn't remove the monster off the field. I should really start paying attention. Silver Sentinel. Really? What the hell is that? Quacky Mirror something, something, something. Okay. I guess. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I still haven't seen my hand first, so I really can't judge whether, uh, you know, we're going to be okay in this door or not. Are you going to use your Phoenix Chain Armor Force? Nah, it's not worth it. What'd you take to that? Oh, we have 1600. I guess we changed that. Good, because, you know, I didn't really didn't like that. We only had 8,000 for two people. That's probably Silver Sentinel. That's Swords. So, reveal us a warrior. Oh, that bull guy. Alright. Uh, well, there's not much we can do. Well, I can do right now. The hand's not bad, but there's just not much I can do. You know? Uh. Hmm. You know, I got a star drawing, and I got I got got magician. But you know, there's no way for me to just go bam bam summon at the same time. I could go like star drawing, summon Kage to Kage, and then exceed, and then draw a card. But is that really worth it right now? You know? Uh, I'm just gonna set my Kage to magician, and then pass to him. And if he tries anything, I'll just mirror force him. Just to protect my uh, Gang Gang Magician the next turn. If, uh. If Tiago doesn't do anything with it, I can just, uh, you know, exceed for a 5 with it using a star drawing. <sighs> no. I really don't want to. Because he probably has, like, a Garunix in his hand that he wants to destroy. But, you know what? Screw it. Is it worth it, though? Yeah, you know what it is. It is. If he's if he's, if he summons a Grunix, we can always chain it up. Yep, he's going to summon a Grunix. So we can always chain it up. So, uh, that's not a big problem. You can all, Tiago can obviously see that I'm trying to save the Gaga Cowboy, so... I mean, a cow, Gaga Gaga Magician. You know, you know, you really don't think of any other Gaga Gaga monsters except for Cowboy. He's like the main one, so... So, you're gonna end? So, hopefully Tiago knows exactly what to do and just chain up that Grunix. It's another deck that I've been facing a lot lately is uh, Fire Kings, along with Dark Worlds. Those two decks. Structure decks, of course. <laughs> Alright, he's done, so... So I gotta go ahead, and when the Grunix comes back, you choose if you want to chain it up or not. I spit all over my 3DS screen. I mean, hey, at least he gets to draw a card. your call. You want to chain it up or not? Yep. Nope. That's not the one I want. 
so no blowy up. -y. So the other guy was like some warrior guy, right? Uh, is there any real threat from him? I'm trying to think. I mean, I could, pr I could probably kill the Garunic, and if I ac if I end up killing the Garunic, it will be on the f warrior guy's turn. Therefore, he will not have a fire king. Well, he might. I mean, that'd be weird if he does, but he might not have the fire king. So, wow, he's gonna summon an honest. All right. Then summon uh, uh, Guardian. Or I remember when that guy first came out. Oh my God, he was so good. Like I swear he was. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. That was nice, Tiago. All right, go ahead and use my card. That's fine. That's the complete opposite of what I want right now. <laughs> Ugh, these sand dials are just coming out like crap. Now I got a bold nature. Like, oh, yes. Cause his main stat of attack, which I really want. Yes, decrease that. I know one of my videos, I actually used Heliopolis and I attributed a spell card. That was my bad. I did not read the card. Uh, you know, I thought it was just tribute on the field, and you know, I, I forgot that it had to be a monster, so, my bad, I apologize about that. Damn, Tiago is just going off right now. Skating around in Pokemon. I still haven't got the bike yet. But I'm I'm really enjoying the skates. Like, whoo, this is fun. Actually, Tiago messaged me on Skype, and he was like, "So you got you got that Pokemon X, huh?" And I'm like, "Yeah. Not only do I have the Pokemon X, but I'm playing it right as we speak." All right. Well, Silver Sentinel will probably go off. Oh, I guess not. All right. Uh, it's not worth it, Tiago. It's not. You know, because we would have killed if we would have killed it on the other guy's turn, the next guy's turn. You know, he would have not been able to summon anything. So, but eh, it's your call. What are these? One for one and solemn warning. Okay. So he turned my Gaga Cowboy into a card that's you know definitely good. Dang, he's just drawing. I mean, that's probably why he did and killed the Grunix because he knew that he'd be able to draw a card. I mean, see, I go. That was not the best play. <laughs> no, we're probably gonna get kicked in the mouth now. You should have knew that was a silver sentinel, and it wasn't worth destroying. So now, pretty much, I gotta figure out a way to bounce back from this. Shit. Oh, he's kind of max aim again. And Tiago definitely wants to draw. My problem is I'm not sure if that's what he's going to do. So we're just going to take a buttload of damage. Shouldn't have destroyed that Silver Sentinel. You should have known it was there. He searched for it. You know? So. Ah, uh, yes, daycare man. Give me another egg. Then watch me skate around some more. Yeah, I work hard for my Pokemon. So I will sit here and just skate around all damn day until I get the uh, Pokemon I want. All my other Pokemon are exactly how I want them to be, so. So, I'm not even sure if that was worth Maxine, because second main phase, you know, he might not even do anything. He might just end his turn. And you won't get to draw anything, yep. Alright. So, summon you. No, why would I want to do that? Yes. 
Activate you. Summon you. We're gonna summon uh, Utopia. Nope. Draw card. Instant fusion. Okay, and so now I get it. I needed that like a turn ago. <laughs> I don't believe I have any level ones in the deck, so. Did they quit? I think they quit. Or someone disconnected, because... Yeah. Alright, well, apparently they quit. So, uh, that was it. You know. Sorry about the, you know, the anticlimactic ending of that. And they're playing all the dramatic music. Oh, wait, you don't get to hear the music. <laughs> Sorry about that. I mean, if you guys... I mean, I, I hope you guys understand why I, I should not play the music. Because, you know, it'd just be like third-party strike. Well, not strike, but third-party content. Therefore, all the revenue I would make from this video would go straight to them. Which is dumb, you know? So, it's not worth it. You know, I'm putting on the work, I'm dueling, I'm commentating. And yet, they're gonna get all the money for it? It's dumb. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Bujins.